Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have kind of a different video. I've never done a video like this before. I'm gonna be sharing my first ever Amazon haul with you. Let me give you a little bit of backstory. So I have not really been on the Amazon train. I know you see it everywhere. <laughs> All over social media, you hear about it. You see people using, saying, I got this off Amazon. I got this off Amazon. And I just, I don't know. I just had never really gotten into it. My husband orders a lot of things from Amazon, but I had just never really done it. So a few weeks ago, I mentioned that I had about a week there where I just was not feeling good. And I basically just sat one day. I didn't do anything. I just sat on my phone. And I went down the biggest Amazon rabbit hole. I was on TikTok. I was in people's storefronts. I was literally looking at everything under the sun that I have ever thought about buying or thought about buying. I was looking into it on Amazon. That is where this haul came from. I, these things came in multiple boxes over multiple days. Things just kept showing up. And so yeah, needless to say, I am now an Amazon fan. I am now a Prime member. Uh, and yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I thought I would share this stuff with you because some of it I've already used and I really like it. So I figured I'd share with you and this would just be a fun, different video for you. So if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the haul. Let's get into it. I have everything sitting right here. I'm just going to start grabbing things. The first thing is this. <laughs> Obviously, I've been, or I said earlier, I've been watching TikTok, everyone doing these get ready with me videos, and they're wearing these cute little headbands. I kept thinking, I want one of those headbands, so I ordered one. I got a pink one, and I think these are all made to look like the ones from the, I don't know if it's Versed or Versed, the skincare brand. I think they were the ones to start this trend. They had a headband that looked like this that they sent out to a bunch of people, and it just kind of caught on. Now I'm into it. And I filmed a video before this, the first one, and I wore this headband in it. So you might have seen me in it already. If not, it's coming. But I did. I just had to get one. And I will say, in terms of keeping your hair out of your face, if you have a lot of hair like I do, and it tends to want to kind of fall forward in your face, it's hard to apply makeup or skincare. This really does hold it away from your face without messing up your curls or anything. So big fan of that already. Next thing I got is a pack of these, what are these, powder puffs? The There are so many different ones on Amazon. I think I had mentioned in a video, I have the e.l.f. little powder puff that's really cute. It's pink and I use those. I have a few of them, but the pointy part on the elf one is a little bit too big. I wanted one that was a little bit pointier. So I got a pack of these. I got a pack of six and mainly got these to use under my eyes when I set my under eyes with powder. And yeah, so I got those. Have not tried those yet. So I don't know how they are, how they apply powder, but you will see them in future videos. Another very random purchase was this. <laughs> These are the little skincare wristbands. So I got a pack of four pairs. So they look like this. And basically you put these on when you do your skincare and it keeps water from running down your sleeves, which absolutely drives me nuts. So I cannot wait to start using these. That's always been a pet peeve of mine. I hate when I'm rinsing my face off from cleanser or whatever I'm using and I get water all over myself, usually down my sleeve and my sleeve is soaking wet, usually makes me cold, drives me nuts. So I finally have a solution. I've been seeing people talk about these forever on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and I just never actually went and bought them until now. So now I have some of those. I also got this. Okay, this was influenced by 
Jessica Braun, of course. She uses this brush a lot. It's by the brand Haley's Beauty. And it's just a little kabuki brush. Kind of looks like my BK Beauty 106 or the Smashbox Blurring Foundation brush. But she uses this a lot for cream bronzer. So I wanted to try it. This brush got really great reviews on Amazon. I've never tried anything from this Haley Beauty's brand or Haley's Beauty brand. So I'm excited to try it. I think they make makeup too, but I've never tried anything from them before. Okay, another very random purchase. This I have not used yet, but it's called an Octo Buddy. And basically what this is, is you stick it, let me get it out. Mine is blue. I didn't really want blue, but this was the only color that they had in stock. So I went with it. So it has a sticker on the back. You peel this off, you put it on the back of your cell phone and it sticks or suctions to mirrors, which is amazing because there have been many times when I wanted to film like a skincare video for Instagram or TikTok or something else. And I don't have enough room to sit a tripod in front of me. So I would need to stick my phone to something to be able to do it. And I've never had anything to do that. So that's why I got this. So hopefully I can film more short form video content for Instagram and TikTok and shorts and all that. So I did get one of those. <laughs> then I got this. This is from the brand Nativa Spa and it's the Quinoa Firming Body Lotion. This was influenced by um, Kellyanne, one of my favorite makeup artists. She is Makeup X ka on instagram and you guys i am not i think i've kind of mentioned this before i am the worst about applying lotion i don't know what it is i love to do skincare on my face i never skip that if i do then something's very wrong but i am the worst at applying lotion to my body i have to have a lotion that i like otherwise i just won't do it i won't do it this smells incredible. I don't know how to tell you what it smells like. It's called quinoa, so I don't know if this is supposed to smell like quinoa, but it says with nourishing quinoa oil concentrate. It smells kind of sweet, kind of vanilla-y, kind of musky all at the same time, and it's a very thin consistency, which I like. It's very easy to blend. It's very lightweight, so that's a plus for me and it just smells incredible. I'm telling you, I've never smelled anything like it, but it smells great and I keep this by my bed and try to do it every night before I go to bed. Just so, especially this time of year, I get very, very dry body skin, probably because I don't put lotion on like I should, like I do on my face. So anyway, I got this because Kellyanne was talking about how great it smelled and I totally agree, it does. Next is this from the brand Sente. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a hair wax stick. I'm sure you've seen this all over. It looks like a huge glue stick and you basically use this to slick your hair back. So when I do mainly my low buns that I wear quite a bit, I've always wanted something like this to really slick my hair down because I have a lot of hair. My hair is pretty coarse and wavy. So even when it's dirty, I still have a lot of little flyaways. This is supposed to help with that. I've used it once already. I did it kind of quickly though. I didn't really take my time using it. So I don't know how I feel about it. And I think this is actually a dupe for the TG brand, the Bedhead brand. I think this is supposed to dupe that one. I think I thought when I ordered this, I was ordering the TG one, but I wasn't. I was ordering this one. So I don't know. Maybe this one's not as good as the TG one. I'm not sure. But I got this to help with my low buns and even with ponytails. Sometimes I like to wear not a low ponytail, not a high ponytail, like a mid pony. And I like that slick back look. So that's why I got that. Next is this from Turandos. So 
I'm not wearing them today, but those chunky gold hoops that I wear all the time, I have a smaller pair and a larger pair. They are from this brand on Amazon. I've had them for probably at least a year and I love them. I wear them all the time. You see them in videos. This brand has a lot of jewelry on Amazon and I wanted to try something else from them. So I got these little gold bracelets. They come together like in a set and oh, they're kind of tangled. One of them is just this gold, little gold balls. And then this one is just a gold chain with like teeny tiny little balls on there as well. And I just wear them together on this arm. I haven't been taking them off either. I've just been leaving them on and showering in them. I don't know if you're supposed to, but that's what I've been doing. I have my other gold bracelets that I wear all the time on this arm that I also don't take off. Um, but I wanted to try these since I like this brand, so I ordered those. Okay, now we're getting into some more makeup things. So I have two products from Purito. This was the one I have wanted to try forever. It's the Sika Clearing BB Cream. I think this is supposed to be somewhat similar to the Misha BB Cream, which I really like. And I've just always heard about this on YouTube. I just never tried it. So it's supposed to be healthy looking glow, flawless coverage, fragrance free. And I got, do you hear my cat? I got the shade Light Beige. So we will see. Hopefully this color works. It kind of looks similar to the Misha BB Cream when you apply it. So that's it there. Yeah, this one does not have the smell though. The Misha BB Cream I really like, but it does have a pretty distinct fragrance, which is not my favorite. So I'm excited to try that. And then I also got the Deep Sea Pure Water Cream. I got this because again on TikTok, I follow another makeup artist on there and she uses this in every single video and says it's just a great makeup prep type product and I don't know I wanted to try more from the Purito brands. So this has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, and nourishing marine ingredients. So I'm really excited to try this. Let me know if you've tried anything from this brand. I think they make quite a bit of skincare but I've never tried anything. Then I got this because this is another thing that's been on my list to try for the longest time. And while I was sitting there that day, searching and looking at everything under the sun, I thought, I wonder if that's on Amazon. And of course it is. The Elastin Skincare Pro Mineral Sunscreen. So I feel like everybody I watch talks about how great this is. And the reason I didn't buy it was it is expensive. It's $60, I believe, for a bottle. You do get 2.6 ounces, which is more than most sunscreens, I feel pretty certain of, but still, it's just kind of pricey. For some reason on Amazon, it was $45, so still expensive, but not as bad as 60. So this is it. I'm a little bit worried about the tint. I don't know, it looks a little bit dark. So I don't know, I may have to be like self tanned to be able to wear it, I don't know, we will see. But I wish they'd come out with more shades because I did read some of the reviews and most of them were very good. Really the only thing I saw negative was the price and the color might not work if you have really fair skin. So I don't know, but it has SPF, 36 and it's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So you will see this in future video. I also got some lip products. This is another thing that's been on my list. I was just sitting there that day thinking of all these things that I've logged in the back of my head that I was interested in and I was like, oh, I wonder if this is on Amazon. I wonder if that is on Amazon. And honestly, most of it was on Amazon and this is one of them. So this is the Kevin Aquan lip pencil in the shade Minimal. I have looked at this so many times. So 
So that is it there. It's just the really pretty rosy pink. Kind of reminds me of Pillow Talk, the lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. Not quite as pink as Pillow Talk, the lip liner, but I have wanted this shade in this lip liner forever. And there it was on Amazon. So I ordered that and I ordered this from Jane Iredale. Again, I've never tried anything from this brand, but this is her lip pencil in the shade Spice. I'm pretty sure I saw somebody else that I can't think of now using this color and that's why I went with this, yeah. So this is kind of similar, not quite as pink, a little, little more mauve I guess than the minimal shade. But I've never tried anything from Jane Iredale, but I've heard that her stuff is really great. So I'm excited to try something from her. I got one of the Revlon Super Lustrous Shine lipsticks. Of course, these are going viral. They have been for a few weeks, so they're really hard to find in store. I already have quite a few of these. I fell in love with Nude Illuminator probably two years ago now, and I still love it. I use it all the time, but I really wanted this one in Sparkling Honey, and it's pretty, It's very light. It's just kind of a light nude. Looks like that. A lot of the shades you can get on Amazon from what I, at least when I ordered this, you could. So I ordered that. I absolutely love these. Highly recommend if you can get your hands on them. And then this is extremely random, but this is a Maybelline Shine Lipstick in the shade Baddest Beige. And the reason I got this was because, again with the makeup artist, um, the makeup artist that did Alex Earl's makeup a few weeks ago, I think her name is Alexis Oakley. I follow her and she was talking about the lip that she did on Alex, and this was the color she used in Baddest Beige. It's just a really light beigey pink, and the only place I could find this shade was Amazon. So I don't know. I don't know if this is a discontinued shade or what. I've looked in stores, have yet to see anything in this color other than on Amazon. So I got that in number 50. So a few more things. This also very, very random. The Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. So I have owned this in the past years ago, right? I wanna say right around the time I started YouTube. And I didn't love the shade that I had. And I got a new shade in this. I've just, I don't know. I always hear about this concealer and I wanted to try it in a different color. So I got the shade Custard Looks like that. I think it's going to be a pretty good color for me. And the only place, again, that I could find lighter colors of this was Amazon. On Sephora, the only shades left are really deep shades. On a bunch of other websites that carry this, they only had deeper shades. So I ordered it off Amazon. Um, okay, just a few more things here. This is super random. I kept seeing this on TikTok, of course, people that show like five things I'm obsessed with from Amazon that I bought this month, videos like that. I kept seeing this product over and over and over and it's very cute. It's a watch, so random. It's from Anne Klein and it's really, I just think it's cute. I love watches, but I don't really wear them. I don't really have a watch other than my Apple watch. So it's gold and black. It's pretty small, which I like. And I don't know, I just thought it would be cute with my bracelets over here that I wear all the time. It's way too big though, so I'm gonna have to get it sized somewhere. So I don't, otherwise I'd be wearing it right now. But I just thought it was cute and it was pretty affordable. It wasn't even that expensive. So I ordered that. And then the last thing is actually what I'm wearing right now. It's this sweater. I will insert a little clip of what it actually looks like. You can't really tell sitting down, but it is the softest sweater I own or I think that I've ever owned. It has these really big cuffed 
sleeves. It's kind of oversized and it feels like a blanket. It feels like a cozy laying on the couch when it's really cold outside with a cup of coffee kind of blanket, but you wear it. And I ordered this camely color first. I wore it quite a few times and I loved it so much that I ordered it in green. So I haven't worn the green one yet, but I'm telling you, if you are like me and you are kind of cold natured, you like cozy things, I am the cozy person. I love all things cozy. This sweater is so cute and it comes in so many colors. I love it. And that is everything that I got from Amazon. My very first Amazon haul. I think I love to watch videos like this and I've officially been bitten by the Amazon bug, which is probably not a good thing, but I thought this would be a fun, different video to share with you. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will have everything listed and linked below for you as I always do, as well as the makeup that I'm wearing. I actually filmed this makeup, so you may have seen it already. I'm not sure which video is going up first, but everything will be listed down below. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1 and I will see you next time for another video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.